So guys, how are you doing? Next, we need to do the last one, which is update the applied for. So this is how you update in uh, accounts in Laravel. You find the the table you wish to update. So the ID is simply account ID, or we just use the ID we have any of this. So I'm gonna just do account ID. So beautiful. Now we have account ID. Um, then we can now update. We can now update. We can start talking about the fields we wish to update from here. I'll put a semicolon here. So the, the field we want to update is the field that shows that you've applied. And um, if I remember clearly, let's go check out the database. Database migrations accounts let's check what the field is accounts so we have this account and uh, we have uh, applied for payout this is it so that's the field we want to update it by default is zero which means the person has not applied we want to update it to one which means the person has applied so we get back here and say this guy oops what did i do geez apply for payout just to be sure i'm going to copy it directly just to be sure cool then we change it to one that's it so basically this just applies this just updates the user and we're going to create a flash message um, that says success application submitted successfully beautiful 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 now the next thing we need to do is um we do the same thing for the markers paid but it's a little just we just need to adjust one tiny little thing okay now we need to redirect the user to where they were coming from so this is the user we're gonna do return redirect and um, account or back. Yeah, let's just go back to where the user was coming from. Back. Period. All right, this is beautiful. So, which means once somebody applies for payout, this field is turned to one. Now, if you've applied for payout, you shouldn't see this button again. Does it make sense? If you apply for payout, you shouldn't see a button to make you to make you apply for payout again. No, 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 no. So to, to sort that out, we're going to get back to that form. I'm going to drag this this way. And um, show field, really? No. Show blade. Inside accounts, show blade. We're going to get back to this form and also say that and account your account applied for payout is not equal to one beautiful so if you are the owner you can only see this if you are the owner of this account and you have not applied for payout but that is there's no pending application waiting all right so um i think this makes sense we have to now work on this second one in the next video but let us test first it should disappear once i click if everything went well i'm going to, I'm going to refresh all right so if i click and everything goes well it should disappear and then we should see a message here sending saying pending payout request i'll say okay yeah i want to apply for payout okay and then there is an error accounts control okay we use plural where we used plural in our web.php cool so in our web.php file i accidentally used plural what we have is account so if you go to routes folder go to web.php here is supposed to be singular yep so we Control R, it will resubmit. Continue. 
everything should take me back to okay not found all right we didn't import auth we have to go back to account controller um, every time you use something like account or flash or auth um, you like we use auth somewhere you need to import it so at the top of the file so there's this fancy um, key um, that key combination you do on um, VS Code. I've not tried it before. I just want to try it. It helps you to import any missing um, um, prerequisites. So I'm going to click um, Control on my keyboard, Shift, and then press P as if you want to print. Then I'll I'll type Find F I N D. Then I'll click this. Oh, unfortunately, it didn't work. So try it one more time and. Um, it didn't work okay so basically we just import auth then we import account use app flash um, models account so I'll find out why that didn't work uh, but maybe we didn't have PHP companion installed our and it worked this time you see the button has disappeared and, now, and there's now a clear warning saying payout request pending beautiful so the next thing we're going to do is to make us ourselves an admin so that we can um, work on the admin button too thank you very much see you in the next video